An ABC News update is just minutes away. 89 WLS and online at WLSAM.com. I met her at a dance. I remember she was very cold. So strangely beautiful. I swept her up to carry her home. Five twenty-three. Awake with Jake. Jake Kyford right here in eighty-nine WLS. It's a Saturday morning. It's going to be warm this weekend in the lower nineties. But it's a but it's a it's a June warmth. It'll just uh, envelop your body and just caress you with with good feelings till the humidity hits. Uh, Kathleen in Olympia Fields. Good morning, Kathleen. Welcome to eighty-nine WLS. Well, thank you, Jake. Good morning to you too. You always make me laugh. And I was listening to your stories this morning, and I just had a call in about Richard Crow. I was a student at DePaul University. I worked as a staff member on the DePaulia. And, uh, DePaulia? The DePaulia, yeah. And is, that the, is that the student newspaper? Yes, it is. It's well, a student newspaper. Well, there is a kid. <laughs> Can't mistake it for any other university. Anyway, um, Richard Crow, his very first... Uh, I was on it, his very first uh, tour for the Haunted uh, Bus Tour. And he advertised it in our newspaper, the DePaulia. And the editor at the time was Greg Lewandowski, who's now my husband. But he had, I wasn't dating him at the time, but he just said, hey, guys, let's go on this bus tour. It sounds really great. Richard Crow wants to do it. And we're like, what? You know, and it was a haunted bus tour. And uh, we said, well, okay. And Richard was such a sweet guy. He thought that the kids wouldn't come unless he served them eats and treats so he had this huge cooler of uh sandwiches and cold pop and so he fed us while he told us these little crazy stories as he drove us all over chicago land we had a great time and at the end we stopped at a bar and we all had some drinks and we paid our own way up for the drinks he was he he but he did service free uh eats and treats during the tour, but it was a long tour. We, we, we spent like two and a half hours or something out. I mean, he knows all the stuff in Chicago. He does, and he is just such a sweet guy, or he was such a sweet guy. And my family, was, we were, um, my kids are now grown, and they're just graduating, my youngest graduated from college. And uh, we took him on a tour just with Richard in, in November of this year, because we couldn't get in. He was so popular, we couldn't get into any of the bus tours. They were all booked up through October 31st for the um, uh, haunted uh, bus tour. So we had to go in November, and we, they had the greatest time. And, he, and Greg said, my husband said, the, the, it was the same spiel. It was like from the very first, uh, you know, tour that he had put together. But the stories were great. And and he was just a really sweet guy. What do you think's going to happen? What do you think's going to happen to his uh, business now? I, I would be nice if someone picked it up. I don't know. Uh, he was such a sweet guy. I, he might have had a lot of contacts. There might be someone who who was close to him that would uh, continue it because it, it was a great business, really. And he, Chicago needs something more than just Al Capone, you know. <laughs> and that was the alternative, you yeah. know, this cute little bus tour. Yeah, you can go to his website. It's ghosttours dot com, and there's all kind of stuff on there about you know Chicago and 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 the different uh, you know the ghost type stuff and. Everything, but uh, I mean, he was. I, I don't know if he had a, like an assistant or you know, you know, a partner that did some of the stuff, or he did everything himself. Or well, it was it was himself when he was, uh, uh, you know, giving the tour last November when, yeah. when my husband went with the kids, and uh, it he was he was doing it, and he was very busy. So I don't know. You know, he, he was just running the single bus tour, but he always w- was quality control for him. He just wanted to be able to, And he, he had a great personality. He was so easy to talk to. You, and, you know what's nice is he got to do what he loved doing. I mean, yeah. he didn't start out saying, hey, I'm going to do ghost tours. That, he kind of just kind of lucked into that by accident, and it became his life, and he loved it. And you know, a lot of people don't get to do that. He never lost his sweetness and his sense of humor. He never lost it. He really enjoyed what he did. Well, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. It's sad. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Jake. Bye. Yeah. See, that's... Uh, he got to do what he wanted to do. I mean, that's... 
it, it, right up to the end. I mean, that's 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 a good way to go. You know what I'm what I mean in life. How many people? How many people work? They work. They work. They work, and they don't really enjoy their 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 job. Then they retire and die. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There's there's a lot of stuff I'm going to be saying this morning. Uh, mention the president. You know Lanny Davis? He worked in the Clinton White House. Uh, you know, they've had this controversy about, you know, Romney and, and Bain Capital, the company that he had and all that stuff. And Cory Booker, the uh, the mayor of Newark, New Jersey, Democrat, came out in defense of Romney and, and Bain Capital a couple weeks ago. And, and other people have since. And uh, Well, anyway, uh, there was a story that the... Uh, Senior White House officials said Cory Booker is, quote, dead to us. That's kind of, that's kind of gold. So Lanny Davis, uh, he, he, uh, he's not too thrilled with what's going on in the Obama White House. He says it may be meltdown unless they come to their sense come to their senses why would they want to create enemies or depict people as enemies who are their friends he says you have vicious people who are working for the president god i think lanny davis is going to be taken out to the woodshed now something something is going on there it, it is i mean this thing yesterday with the president saying the private sector is fine that he backtracked on that because it really isn't but the, but the bigger story, and the, and the one that really affects everybody, is what, what was also said at the press briefing yesterday, is the story about these, these newspaper articles, like in the New York Times, that give the inside look into, not, not just the bin, you know, the bin Laden killing, but... You know what we did in Iran with the uh, the internet, the cyber attack we did, and the drones, and it's so inside that the president is is quoted in the articles, and they're long articles, but it's given away our our information about how we gather intelligence, and they just appointed two prosecutors to look into it, and I will talk about that and a whole lot more and there's some fun stuff too as we continue on awake with jake right here on a saturday morning on 89 W A L A.